Making this cone is the hardest part of the whole rocket. Um, and if you look at the pattern sheet with the transitions, I got two of them here. Um, just in case you mess up one, you have an extra one to play with. Um, if it wasn't for this transition, this would be a really easy rocket to make. Um, but the transition is hard. Even I think it's hard. I hate doing them, but <laughs> you have to. It's a necessary evil. Okay, first we want to cut it out. And for the straight edges, I'm going to use a hobby knife and a ruler. Now, you always want to lay your ruler on top of the part so that if your knife uh, strays away, it doesn't gouge into the part. So, so I'm going to cover up the part that I want to save. Okay, I did that one. So I got my ends cut, and then there's two little tabs. It's this tab right there, so I got to cut that. And don't forget those little corners. One there, and one right there. Okay, now we just have to cut the curves. And the curves just use a very steady motion and just follow along on the edge. Okay, so if you notice on here, there's two lines, and these are fin lines. So there's going to be one fin right there, one fin right there, and then one along the edge where they overlap. And then on the sides, we have some tick marks right here. And these, when we roll the cone around, we want to line those little tick marks up so that we know everything aligns perfectly straight. Uh, we want to pre-curl this first, and it helps to have a dowel. So I want to get it starting to curl, and then I want to start rolling it. The, the trick here is to not crease it at all, because if it creases it, that's going to ruin the aerodynamics of the rocket. You can fly it that way, but it's just not as pretty, and it probably won't go as high. So when we do everything, we want to do it nice and slow so that we don't crease the transition at all. So I roll it into a tube, and then I want to reverse it. So then I want to put this edge on the inside and roll it that way. You want to pay particular attention here at the bottom, at the skinny end. And I'm rolling it pretty tight because I want to make sure that it stays curved once I start putting it together because that really helps when you, when you start taping it up. So I'm liking that right now. So you see how we roll it together and you see the little tick marks and how they're going to align with each other. And we know we've got it nice and straight. Now you can glue this and you can put glue on that tab and roll it together. The only problem with the glue is it gives you a hard spot and it's going to kind of make like a tent structure. Um, and it's not going to be as nice and curved as it goes around. Um, in one of my videos on the Apogee website, I show how to use um, rubber cement to give you a nice good curve, and you can do that as well. Um, for this 
particular case, I'm going to use double-sided tape, which is basically just like rubber cement. Um, so I need a, a long strip of this, um, and it's got this backing paper, and I want to just stretch it out. And this is really gummy, just like rubber cement. You can see the end just kind of curled up on me, but that's okay. All right, now I want to lay, I want to get that as flat as I can. So I'm going to take a piece of tape. I'm going to tape it down to my work table. See now, in the middle part, longer than the cone, I don't want to touch it at all. Okay, so now I want to you see these little corners right here. That's going to tell me where the line is on the back side because I can't see it because it's on the table. So I want to just kind of hover it over the double-sided tape just like that. And then I'm going to press it down like that. Okay, so now the double-sided tape is on my tab. Now we're going to cut away everything else. Okay, see now it's pe peeling off uh, from the backing paper already. That's okay because we're going to cut that off. As long as it on the back side here, as long as that stays on, we're fine. So get this out of the way. Make sure you can see this. All right, now I'm going to cut through the gummy part of the uh, double-sided tape. And I want to press hard because I don't want to do this twice because the, the tape kind of gets everywhere. And if you mess up, um, the tape will, you can just kind of roll it and it'll kind of ball up just like rubber cement does. And so you can remove it and, and try it a second time. Okay, so then I pull off the backing. Now this edge, it's nice and flat, which is what I want. So now this is the hard part. Now I want to I want to roll them together. I want to start with the the edge right here, get those together, and then find my first tick mark and get those to line up. And they do. So now we're going to go to the next tick mark, get those to line up. And then finally the final one right here. And now when you're pushing down right here, you're kind of smushing it here. So be careful not to push too hard that you crease that edge. Okay, and you can put your finger through it. And it helps to have a wood dowel here. And from the wood dowel, I'm pressing from the inside. Okay. I have a little bit of gum coming out there, so I'll just rub that off. And that is a very nice transition. And if we did everything right, um, when we slide this into the tube, it should be nice and tight. And it is. So that's, that's the good sign right there. So in the next video, we're going to go ahead and start gluing things up.